Okay, Sean, so we've announced today a new three-year deal here at the Falcons. How pleased you to get the deal sorted and uh, and, and signed off? Yeah, obviously I'm, I'm delighted. Uh, it's, it's nice to commit my, my long-term future here. Um, it's always it's it's always nice to it's kind of a weight off your shoulders really to get it signed, get it sorted, and it, yeah, it just adds to that excitement for for the coming year really. It came off the back of a, a fairly impressive debut season, didn't it? Sort of first off in in Europe and then Premiership debuts as well. So settling in and feeling part of the club, clearly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I was one of a, a few guys that made the progression as it would be from from academy to first team last year. Um, I really enjoyed my opportunities first off in, in Europe really and that's where you, you know I got got that first opportunity to make a name for myself and obviously was delighted to get get a few premiership appearances towards the end of the season you know long term that's you know, that would be one of my goals to keep working working forward towards playing more premiership rugby and how did the development go for you personally? I know when we spoke at the start of last year, you were saying that sort of you know, step up from university rugby, you were expecting to be quite a big step, but the, the speed of your development and the way that you've really sort of forced your way into the coaches' plans and, and, and squads, it doesn't seem that it's phased you that much. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been lucky to work with work closely with the coaches and, and the senior senior players on my game. I think it's, it's a case of you've got to work hard on your, your individual skills put in that extra time really and that that really shows out there on the pitch um, you know I was fortunate to go to Rotherham as well and I got the chance to play championship rugby and develop my rugby there which was you know it was a big opportunity for me and a big thanks to them obviously that term um, you know that gave me a good foundation stepping from university rugby to to championship rugby and then being able to progress to, to European rugby and then premiership rugby will help I think with that, that transition and we've touched on it there but what are, what are the personal targets for this year just to, to try and get the game time or are you going to set yourself sort of other goals as well yeah I know I think it's a case of not so much saying that this is what uh, obviously you, you want to be playing premiership rugby I think it's a case of just working on your, your own personal game and training hard and working hard and then you'll, you'll reap the benefits so so to speak so I'll just I'm just setting out to work on my game and improve my game and there's some good stocks to work there, isn't there? There's Josh, there's Kane, there's Scotty McLeod there as a player coach as well. You know, there's, and then there's also talent pushing you from from the other way in terms of Will Whitty and the other young lads. So it's it's a good it's a good core of players that we've got in that second row. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm lucky in the position that I find myself. I've got those those senior guys, experienced guys like you say, Scotty McLeod, Kane, Josh that I can I can go to for advice on my game. And at the same time, I'm I'm always having to push because I know that I've got. You know, the likes of Will Witty, who played very well towards the end of last season, got himself a, a few Premiership games as well, and deservedly so. I've got those guys pushing me from from behind, so it's it's you know it's I'm fortunate to be in that position where I've got to always be working hard. Thanks, Sean. It'd be nice to see you around.